I just finished reading a book by Christopher Hitchens, arguably. It's like that thick. I think it's about 750 pages and then plus some... Um, I mean that's excluding all the index and stuff at the back. Simply because it was the thickest book I found. Um, and then my wife was at a shopping center and wouldn't you know it, Dr. Carl was there. And so she bought me this book and... And uh, it is signed. To Big Milan, best wishes. I think it says R. Carl. Might be upside down. Deal with it. Flip your screen. I don't know. I've read quite a few of his book uh, books. Anyway, um, they're great because they have a lot of little short, well-explained ideas that you can then later go on and read more about if you feel that way inclined. If something interests you in particular. Here's one thing that I tell people all the time. I love telling people how bad they are at things. That is to say, I am brutally honest. And if you're not good at something, I'll tell you. Because most people are afraid of hurting your feelings. Oh, you're doing so well. Yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, whatever. If you're doing bad at something, I'll tell you. Now, here. Here's a quote from his book, which is a quote of someone else and so forth. Uh, when people are incompetent, not only do they mis make mistakes, but their incompetence robs them of the ability to realize it. So, when I read that, I was like, oh my god, I've been telling people this the whole time, I just didn't word it that way. When you are... Okay, good example. I am a truck driver, okay, I've been driving trucks since 10 years ago. And so driving cars to me is like, like that. Okay, now I know sometimes I'm not the best at certain things, but then I just realize how bad are other people? How bad are other people are doing these things? I mean, I don't think I'm the best driver. I know I'm not. I've got friends who are way better drivers than me when they're drifting and stuff. Pay, pay, uh, the one from the internet, the you know shuffling pay, pay and Sarah pay. He's a really good drifter. I've been in the car with him. It's insane. Um, it was at Winton, I think, I was in the car with him. He's a really good driver. And I've got other friends just like that. Really good drivers. So, I mean, I'll, I'll kick your butt in a go-kart, but in a car, I know my limits. But sometimes, people do the dumbest things in front of me, because I'm on the road all day long. And I just want to get out and just tell people, and sometimes I do, like, what the hell are you doing? You almost just died. They don't even realize it. And they'll probably rate themselves as being really good, safe drivers. But like, you just cut off a truck that weighs 16 ton, I could have killed you. You know? And they think nothing of it, they don't even realize it. So that's obviously a very extreme example of uh, how making... How your incompetence can uh, rob you of your ability to realize how incompetent you are. But in everyday life, if you don't realize how bad you are at everything, you'll never learn anything, because you'll think you already know everything. So, one of the important things that I always stick by is to learn to realize I don't actually know so many things. And then go out and research it, you know? Read some books. Uh, I've got plenty of books around here. Read some books. Watch YouTube videos. YouTube! That, I'm a prime example of how you can learn from YouTube. Watch my videos and learn how to shuffle. How easy is that? I mean, it's, it's a lot of hard work, but it's a great example of how you can learn from different sources. Um, talk to people. If someone's really good at something, they'll, they'll be glad to help you. People who are skilled generally are happy to share their knowledge. Um, Yeah, realize how bad you are at everything you do, and then you're almost guaranteed to become better at it as a result. Even if you're good at it, even if you think you're the best at something, realize you're not, and then you'll be better. Well, that's my five cents for today.